private wealth management. At First Republic, it's a privilege to serve you. Remember FDIC. Please see us time, 928, the opening bell on Wall Street next. A car continuously filled with low detergent gas. Actually, weather is sunshine, patchy clouds, breezy today below the high of 49, mostly clear and chilly overnight, low 36 for tomorrow. Sun followed by increasing clouds, high 46 on Friday. Rain early, then clouds giving way to some sun. Windy and chilly with a high of 49, but temperatures falling during the day. And then Saturday, clouds and sun with a cold wind, a high of 41. It's 42 now in New York. The opening bell of the New York Stock Exchange is sponsored by First Republic Bank. News time at the tone, 930. And there's the open bell on Wall Street. S&P futures closed up 4.40. Dow Industrial starting with a fractional gain. Keep it locked in 1010 wins for Money Watch reports at 56 and 26 past the hour. Larry Kofsky, MarketWatch.com, 1010 wins. Good morning, I'm Judy DeAngelis. Ray of light, underground, following Superstorm Sandy. Path rail service resumed this morning from Hoboken to Manhattan. 3rd Street Station. Trains run till 10 p.m. seven days a week. I bet quite a few people can name this tune. It was just minutes after 5 a.m. that the first passenger came down the stairs. I'm excited. Absolutely. And so was passenger number two. A young lady named Nicole. Well, I live on Staten Hudson, so I've been walking 20 minutes to uh, Newport every day. But it's like the past chain has been completely crowded and pretty much miserable. <laughs> it took transit workers seven weeks to pump out 10 million gallons of salt water, dry the tracks, repair the cars, and the electrical system at a cost of about $600 million. John Montone, 1010 wins. Wayne's News Time, 9.31, appropriate time for traffic and transit on the ones. And time to ask the question, around the border rush, be sorry, It's all about the location, Judy. For example, we had an accident earlier this morning, which had knocked out the outer bridge crossing for a while in both directions. It's been open for quite some time, so at this point, I don't think I would make that diversion to the Gobbles Bridge, because we do have quite a bit of traffic still out there on the Staten Island Expressway westbound from 440 over to the Gothels Bridge. Delays on the GW Bridge, about 10 minutes on 95 Express. We're still running about 25 minutes on the city-bound Lincoln Tunnel, 10 minutes at the Holland Tunnel, and the West Side Highway is heavy from the GW Bridge south down to 125th Street. They've just cleared an accident on the Lower East Side on the FDR Drive northbound in the area of 23rd Street, and we're still slow through Queens on the LIE westbound from Main Street into Queens Boulevard. In Bound Brook, New Jersey, there's a collision on Route 287 southbound at exit 13 at Route 28, delays back to 202-206. And on Long Island, we have a couple of accidents, both on the shoulder, one on the Northern State Parkway eastbound at Meadowbrook Parkway, one on the Southern State Parkway eastbound in the area of exit 18 at Eagle Avenue. Alternate side parking is in effect on this holiday gridlock alert day. And if you see a traffic problem, phone it into the 1010 Winds phone force at 877-466-1010. Next report at 941 on 1010 Winds. Wants to make it easy to give the gift of a great night's sleep. So we put every pillow in the store on sale. Buy two, get one free. Now the official 10 10 minutes accurate the four day forecast is sponsored by Shops at Terminal A JFK. Here's meteorologist Elliot Abrams with this live report. Storms this is affected us the last few days has gone. There's still cloudy is around, and we'll have to see a mixture of clouds and sunshine today. The afternoon high temperature about 49 degrees, and then tonight chilly low 36. Tomorrow sunshine followed by cloudiness like 46. And a large storm will cause snow problems all the way from Kansas and Nebraska to the Great Lakes region and eventually to places like Buffalo and Syracuse and Rochester.
Rochester. We'll bring us rain. Rain will come in tomorrow night. It'll rain early Friday. And then it'll clear and turn windy and colder. A high Friday morning, about 49 or 50, followed by falling temperatures. Then Saturday, mixture of clouds and sunshine with a cold wind. Classic December day, except without any scenery of snow. High 41 Saturday and about the same.